Eric, a lot of families are struggling amid the pandemic because they don't know what's next. Yeah, and my family was one of those who was not sure what would happen next after what happened to me. I tested positive for the virus several months ago, and after some soul searching, I feel like it's time to take a look at what the last 50 days of my COVID-19 experience has been like. You know, this disease gets what? Old people and young kids? Everybody in between's fine. Just wash your hands and have a good time. Spring break 2020 is one I'll never forget. For the past three years, I've been reporting on what's going on at Padre during the fun week. But this year's party time turned into pandemic preparations. It is kind of crazy, though, how they cancel everything. I think that's mind blowing. Good vibes either way. They, they ain't going to cancel this one, though. When the bar is closed, I went to work from home as a precaution. The pandemic got worse, and the National Guard rolled in. It wasn't until June 15th I reported on a National Guard swab testing on South Padre Island, and instead of filming someone else, I volunteered. <laughs> Can you do that one more time real quick? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Little did I know on that day, somehow, some way, I contracted the virus. So I tested positive and no one has contacted me. I had to go dig for my own results on a website. Um, it's been a month and two days and they never contacted me. Yeah. So. And, and that's, that's what's happening when they're trying to run thousands and thousands and thousands of samples. And to your experience is a great example you know, where, you know, from the time your sample was taken to when you got your results or whether you did get your results, mm -hmm. the average time now is people are waiting about a week to get their sample back. Well, in about a week, it, you're, you know, that person is now almost past their contagious period and they may have already caused all these infections and then trying to chase those people down. Yeah, and that part that Dr. Castillo brought up about causing infections well past that quarantine time is something that really ate away at mm -hmm. me. Uh, it's this guilt part that oftentimes we don't talk about. You know, it's what did I do that I didn't know I could have done? Sure. And that was me spending time with my wife. I mean, I didn't know if I had gotten her sick or any one of her family members sick because I was asymptomatic. And that's part of our report that we're going to be continuing and picking up on tomorrow right here on CBS4 Valley this morning. And thank you for using your experience to help the community. Yeah, I and mean, this is a part of the conversation that I think needs to happen more of. You know, we talk about cases, we talk about deaths, we talk about recoveries, but we don't talk about, you know, what we all go through for this. And for me and my family, you know, I was still having to work and I wanted to work, but it was a question of should I come to work? And thankfully, you know, the staff here at CBS and with NBC, we were able to facilitate that need for me wanting to work and being able to be that voice in the community as well now that you know i have been cleared to come back and share the desk with you right and mental health is a big part of that too yeah, that absolutely. worry that comes with it